The supermarket I went for the investigation is the law law at 2280 Dundas Street West M6R 1X3. This supermarket is in my neighborhood and I think it is important for me to know more about the supermarket for my beneficial. The aisle I chose for the supermarket tour is aisle 2 the produce. I chose the aisle because produce is a necessity in our meals and fruits and vegetables are usually the biggest portion of the meal for us. Besides, the produce is fed to animals in most of the meat farm and the impact of the food they consume have direct impact on our health. Whenever we go into a supermarket, the first section we enter is always the produce section with shiny fruits and green vegetables. But I have never questioned deeper into the produce and have assumed that eating healthy is just about eating more vegetables and fruits. In the supermarket, there is a variety type of produce coming from different country. Whatever you have for a meal, it is a good chance that the food was grown thousands of miles away. Food mile is the distance that the food travels to get from where it is produced to where it is consumed. According to OPIRG, the average North American meal travel approximately 2,400 km from the fields to table. The further the food travel, the greater amount of greenhouse gas emission is created. The effect of the greenhouse emissions are global warming and changes to plant growth and nutrition level. Increasing of carbon dioxide in the air can increase the plant growth, but plant growth needs other nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. Without increasing in those nutrients, the nutritional quality of many plants will decrease. Food traveling depends on the oil. Oil price significantly affect the price of our food. But we have to remember, oil is definite. Every stage of our food system requires a large quantity of energy from fossil fuel. Reaching peak oil is anticipated and this will be a problem for food security. During the investigation, I found that a lot of our produce are imported from Mexico, Peru, USA, Spain, and some are imported from other countries. On the shelf level, I noticed that there were star for every produce. According to the Fresh Produce Guide on Loblaw website, it is called the Guiding Stars. It is a three-star nutritional rating system to assist consumers in finding nutritious food choices throughout the store. Guiding Star highlights food with higher nutrients and three-star is the highest rating a produce can receive. Foods are credited for vitamin, mineral, dietary fiber, whole grains, and omega-3s. And debited for saturated fats, trans fat, added sodium, and added sugars. Have you ever concerned why the produce on the shelves always appear fresh? The answer is the pesticide. Agricultural pesticides are man-made chemicals applied to food crops to kill unwanted insects, plants, and fungi. Pesticides indiscriminately kill those insects and soil or microorganisms that are beneficial at the same time. The other aspect about the concern is post harvest treatments. Sometimes pesticides are applied to food after it leaves the farm to make them look better or to keep them longer on the shelves. Wax and or shellac that may contain fungicide, bacteria site, coloring agent and ripening inhibitors are applied on the fruits and vegetables. The 30,000 list by a US study ran pictures as the most contaminated food than apples, sweet bell peppers, celery, nectarines, strawberries, cherries, lettuce, grapes, pears, spinach, and potato. Knowing this, do you still agree with the saying an apple a day keep the doctor away? You may ask why worry about pesticides. Well, pesticides are toxic. The waxes are fat soluble and they can accumulate in humans and animals' body over time. 
Pesticides have been linked to acute and chronic illness, including reproductive problems, neurological problems, brain and lung cancer. Pesticides pollute the environment, the air, the soil, surface water, and groundwater. Use of pesticides and artificial fertilizer result in fewer soil organisms and less soil organic matter which eventually lead to ever-increasing amount of artificial fertilizer and pesticide. Pesticides have significant impact on the health of the worker in the field who are exposed to the chemical gate daily. The people who live nearby and those who are exposed to pesticides that leach into the soil and water. Sadly, because of the large variety of synthetic chemicals available on the market, it is difficult to do the long-term testing on the effect of long-term exposure to the chemicals. The effect of exposure to a combination of pesticides with other chemicals and the different sensitivity and safety standards for children and fetuses. Some pesticides, including DDT and methyl bromide, were first used in the 1940s and were later banned because of the assumption of chemical innocent until proven guilty. We all as a consumer are essentially a part of the large scale of experiment. Reading the supermarket tour, I was surprised that pesticides can bioaccumulate in the body. I assume that the government tests the safety of the produce before they reach the supermarket. Instead, the government assumes the chemicals are innocent until proven guilty. After reading the supermarket tour, I do agree that we are all essentially participating in a large-scale experiment when we eat, drink, and breathe air that has been treated or exposed to pesticides. I feel that we are not being educated well enough on the food. We are what we eat. Seeing food is significantly impacting our body, I think it is necessary that our food is safe to be consumed. Although having long-term testing is limited, the government should adopt the precautionary principle. I feel the government should prevent instead of cure when damage happens. My expectation before entering the supermarket is to see diversity of the produce. It was a bit upsetting when I was only able to find a few types of potato, peppers, and mushroom. It might seem there is tons of choices during shopping, but many of them are just cut in different shapes before being packaged. Some produce is only different on whether they are bad or not. After reading the supermarket tour, I wasn't surprised at all looking at the shining fruits, the perfect vegetable leaves, and the perfect size, and the variety of the non-seasonal fruit. However, I did not expect of the large usage of plastic to bat and seal the produce. I expect it would be more environmentally friendly at the oil. I also expect the supermarket to greatly promote and encourage the customer to support local Ontario food. However, I found that I could only see the small food land Ontario logo beside the shelf label. From the experience, my assumption that eating healthy is just about eating more vegetables and fruits and a variety type of them is challenged. I learned that the amount of fruit and vegetables do not imply healthiness. The more important aspect that I would want myself to focus more on would be how the food is grown, produced, and avoid eating the highly contaminated food. If organic produce is available, I would go for them to reduce my exposure to pesticides. I will always peel my fruits and wash the vegetable thoroughly. In the future shopping, I will buy more local food and produce that has thicker skin. From the experience, I also learned to be more skeptical when choosing a produce and not judge the healthiness based on the appearance of the produce.
Now I would like to ask you, after watching this video, how would your future shopping experience change?